Evening. Welcome back to Austin News Today. Girls all over the world have planned their wedding for years. <laughs> and to help you out with that is the Austin Bridal Extravaganza. It is coming up. Bob Lohman is here to talk to us all about it and what you can expect if you are in the midst of planning your wedding. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you. It's exciting to be here. It's our 20th anniversary of putting on the Bridal Extravaganza. Really? It's awesome, yes. Wow. So tell me about how many vendors will be there. What can people expect? Well, we have over 300 vendors there, and it's really everything that you need to plan your wedding. Photography photographers, florists, caterers, DJs, but it's even more than that. One of the great things about it is you can go down and get some great ideas, some tips and techniques, but more than that, it's really an opportunity for brides and grooms to go down and really find the wedding professionals that they need. Right. A lot of times it takes weeks to find the ones you like, and then you go back and they're already booked up. Right. So here you can shop and compare them side by side and actually put deposits down and book them for the wedding. Now, if you already have your wedding booked and the date set, you can still go and still find some other things that you may need as far as um, flowers or caterers or anything like that. Oh, there's bands, there's DJs. Oh. You know, it's an opportunity. One of the big trends is some of lounge furniture lately, you know, so you get a huh. chance to go see lounge furniture on display there. So it's everything that you possibly can imagine to plan your wedding and really even your life after the wedding. How much are people spending on weddings this, this time around? I remember there was a time when people were spending about $25,000 on a wedding. You know, for a national average, that's pretty close. Yeah. Now, sometimes that can be skewed a little bit because you have somebody that spends a couple million dollars and that that's brings crazy. that average up. <laughs> so, you know, probably in Austin, 20000 something like that is probably uh, pretty common. Wow, that, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I think I spent about that much. Okay. So. <laughs> it's very easy to do, absolutely. There. Talk that's about some of the gowns. The gowns can be one of the most expensive items. They, they can be. Now, now, these gowns are provided by David's Bridal. They're doing the fashion show one. today along with Men's Warehouse. And this white, white gown here is a beautiful ruffle gown. Ruffles oh, are obviously that's... very, very popular, not only for wedding gowns, but in ladies' wear overall. Right. Okay? And then here we have a bridesmaid's dress in black. And, of course, people too used to talk about black being taboo, but we see it not only in the <laughs> bridesmaid, but even splashes of a color, red or black, on the wedding gowns. Yeah, I think it's very classy. Yeah, absolutely. It looks really nice. And it's, this gown is something you can actually wear, you take it, have it altered a little bit, and even wear it afterwards a little bit. What are some of the other hot trends that brides are doing this year? Are they still carrying bouquets? I mean, I see her hair piece. Are they yeah. doing that instead of a veil? Um, you'll see that as well. Yeah, that's right, little hat pieces, pill boxes. We've seen that over the last couple of years. Other trends, are, certainly there's a lot of a trend towards do it yourself. And not only in terms of putting the wedding, because sometimes you have a coordinator, but then there's little personalized touches. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a specialty drink. Maybe it's a personal note to each of your guests that are there. Uh, we're seeing, you know, creative ideas as far as different uh, cakes are concerned, mm -hmm. cupcakes or even small personalized cakes on the tables versus one large cake. Okay. Excellent. Um, lighting is very popular. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's some LED lighting and technology. You'll see some great ideas down there as far as how to light your room. And that really creates a, an ambiance in terms of your reception hall. Well, thank you for being here. The bridal show is happening. Give us a date and time and where people can uh, buy tickets. And uh, they can get it at the door today. It opens at noon to 5. The tickets are actually good for both days, so it gives you time to really go out there and shop and find the vendors that you need. Excellent. Well, happy, uh, happy uh, br bridal planning, <laughs> wedding planning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, girls.